Welcome, you earthlings, to my channel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a bit of cough. So, if this is your first time on my channel, be sure to subscribe, okay? And give this video a thumbs up. Now, back to character. Yes, so today I'm doing a Halloween look. It's a mermaid inspired look. So, to begin, I'm just going to be smoothing my brows with a bar of soap. Yes, I use soap because I want to cover my brows completely and I'm improvising. Normally, I should supposed to be using spirit gum, but I couldn't get my hands on any, so I'm just using a bar of soap, and yeah. So I used a Milani concealer, which is creamy, not actually creamy, it's really thick, so I covered the brows, you know, we got those hairs to cooperate. And now I'm going in with another concealer. You could use foundation for this step, actually, in my shade. So something darker from the e.l.f. coverage concealer palette and I use that to cover right on top of the first concealer. So now to set it, I'm using my face powder and a beauty blender and just dabbing, dab, 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 dab. So that everything looks pretty nice. Now I'm going in with this dark pink, sort of like reddish shade, and I'm just applying that above my crease. of early girl pro primer and placing it in the middle of my mobile lid and i'm taking that silver shade right there and placing it on the primer so now i'm going back with the shades i used for my transition and then just blending it right into the silver we want everything to be smooth and similar to make my eyes look bigger and I'm extending it outwards just right below my wing so now for foundation I'm using my MAC foundation studio fix in the end in the shade NW50 and with the beauty blender blend 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 now when you're applying your foundation you don't want to apply it on top of the part where we covered the brows because that's like putting cream on top of powder which is a no-no and believe me you don't want to do that because everything you covered is just going to be coming right off now to co to highlight my face I'm going to be using that same elf full coverage concealer palette and just highlighting under my eyes my chin and my nose I didn't highlight my forehead because really there was no point I already have a massive forehead yeah so setting it, I used the Benai Banana Powder, and now it's time for the lipstick. I'm going in with my Avor Lip Stain. And lining it with a purple liner pencil to give me an ombre effect. Today is all about pink and purple. In my Little Mermaid world, 
pink and purple is like the cutest shades ever so now to make it sparkle and shine because we love to sparkle and shine i'm just applying some gloss over the lipstick and now i'm using my bh cosmetics face powder and applying that all over my face blending it down to my jawline my neck you know everywhere I'm going to be using that same purple shade from my eyeshadow palette to further contour my nose and taking it high into my the top of my brows or rather there are no brows today but you know, right under where the brows are supposed to be because I need something with a net pattern I'm sorry guys, let me just spill the beans. This was an epic fail, yes. I tried it out because I saw it on some tutorials and it did not work for me. I don't know if I didn't do anything right, but I just wanted to show you guys so that you guys know that we mermaids don't always get it right. I mean, we mermaids on YouTube, okay? <laughs> we experiment too and some of them are epic fails. So I just wanted to show you guys, I tried this at first to create my scales around the perimeters of my face. You know, the net effect was going to was supposed to do that but it did not work out and you can see the look of disappointment on my face right there like oh my god what was that mm, well seems i'm going to have to do it manually that was what i did so you guys just watch and learn so i'm just going to be taking some blush and placing it all over my forehead Placing it right where the brows were supposed to be and blending it upwards. So I'm just applying that all over that large space you can see there. So I'm just going to be going in with my eyeliner and drawing some scale like patterns. It's so easy to draw scales, just look at what I'm doing. Kind of like semicircles, you know, just connect them, connect them. Scales are actually a very beautiful pattern and we mermaids have scales, yeah. Probably why we don't have eyebrows because we don't need hair, we need scales. So I'm going to be drawing some more scale patterns on my right cheek area. Then I'll also be extending my liner just to give it a bit more drama. So using my LA Girl Pro Primer, I'm just going to be filling in the skills so I can give you some color. So I'm going to be alternating between the blue, it was supposed to be purple, but I think this matched my hair better. So I'm going to be alternating between that shade and the pink to give my skills some color. Using some lighter shades, something orangey, you could use gold. So now I'm using some glitter glue or you could use eyelash glue too. I'm going to be placing some glitter on my cheek and down. Now I'm using the Girl Pro Primer, I'm extending it below my waterline just outside to create a base because I'm about to smoke that on the eye and I smoked it out using that same purple shade that I used during the eye makeup and now just applying my setting spray and yeah there was a part that I skipped, I used, I created some white dots where the brows were supposed to be like the beginning of the brows, I just used my body paint and created those white dots and this is the finished look so have a happy adventurous scary Halloween guys <laughs> oh well do mermaids laugh like that um, 
thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye